Welcome, welcome. In this video, we're going to cover conversion rates in Google Analytics for reporting. Now, you might be saying, I don't know what you're talking about because conversion rates are nowhere to be found in these out of the box reports. Because if you look in the report snapshot, which is kind of an overview page, and search for conversions. You have this section that gives you a list of your top conversions, but it only shows the sum of conversions or the number of conversions for, for this time period. If you keep scrolling down, there's a link to view all the conversions. And if we go through You can see the conversions by, by platform, but there's no conversion rate. And if you click on this view conversions link, it brings you to the section in Google Analytics 4 under engagement where the conversion report is. And again, it just shows you conversions over time conversions by event name and it has both a table and a chart here and what I did was I added a comparison for mobile devices to show you what I mean so without this comparison for all users we just have a total of over 67,000 conversions and that's 100% of all conversions but when we added this comparison for mobile devices it gives us this number which is 32% of all conversions so this isn't actually a conversion rate it's just the percentage of the total number of conversions. Now in order to get the conversion rate in Google Analytics 4, what you'll have to do is go to this left navigation and click on Explore. And what we're going to do is create our own exploration report using the funnel exploration. So if you click on Funnel Exploration, allow this configuration page to load. This is what a default report looks like. So I'm going to remove this breakdown for site category so that the report is a little bit easier to read. So these are the steps that we have in the report. We'll go through this funnel exploration report from top to bottom so that we can see what this report is showing us. And then we'll go over how to create a similar report from scratch. So at the top, we have each of the five steps listed out. And then there's a percentage next to each step and that percentage is the percentage of users that advance to the next step from the previous step so in the first step we have a hundred percent of the users for first open slash first visit and then going on to the next step there are 38% from the first step that qualify for step two. And then moving on from step two to step three, 19 or 20% of the users from step two qualified and moved on to step three. And then step four, you actually have 
67% of the session start or the step three users. And then lastly, step five, unfortunately, none of the users from step four advance to step five. In the chart below the steps, you have this visualization that depicts the flow between each of these steps. With the down arrows showing the percent of users that exited out of the funnel at each stage. And then we have this table here that shows us the same data. So for the first column, we have the number of users, and then in parentheses is the percentage of all the users that entered into the funnel from step one. So for step one, of course, that's 100% of the users. And the completion rate that progressed to step two is 38%, which matches this percentage up here. Now it makes sense that for step two organic visitors, it's 38% which matches the completion rate from this column and it still remains to be 38% out of step one. And as we progress to step three, the completion rate from step two to three is 19 or 20%. But for the beginning stage, from the beginning stage, step one, the conversion rate is 8% up until step three, and so on and so forth. But for the entire, the entire funnel, unfortunately, the conversion rate is 0%. And as we move to the right, in the table, it shows us the abandonments along with the abandonment rate. So the completion rate and the abandonment rate for each row will add up to 100%. And if we want to recreate this report, click on the plus up here and then choose Funnel Exploration. And this will give us a blank slate. The first thing we'll do is configure the steps. So click on this writing utensil in order to add steps. With this Google Analytics 4 merchandise store demo account, we're going to create a funnel for purchasing products. But we're going to begin our funnel with viewing an item, viewing a product. So we're going to call this first step view item and click on add new condition and search for the event view item. Now on the right side it'll show us what percent of all users would begin in this funnel with the first step. You can add another condition with an and or or statement, but we're just going to go with the second step. And you can do that with, by clicking on add step here or clicking on these three dots and copying the step or adding a step above or below. So we're just going to add a step and keep this condition is indirectly followed by. You can also choose directly followed by and also set a time limit for users to accomplish this step. But we're not going to worry about that here. 
Instead, we're just going to go with step two and we'll call this add to cart. Click on add a new condition and search for add to cart here. Add another step and we'll call this purchase. So we'll add a new condition for this step three and search for a purchase event. So then on this right side here in the summary, it'll show us what percentage of users would convert in this funnel. So once we're satisfied with the configuration for this funnel, click on apply. And this report will render for us. So now we can see the conversion rate between each stage or each step as well as the overall conversion rate for the entire funnel. So here we can see that the overall conversion rate for this purchase funnel from which the user begins by viewing an item is 5%. You can find conversion rates for other types of events, not just e-commerce or purchase events. For example, here's a funnel exploration that was created for our test website where we're looking at conversions and conversion rates for guide downloads. If you want to see how you can configure reporting in Google Analytics 4 for file downloads, there's a link in our description. So check that out. There's also a link to the website growthlearner.com if you want more insight on measuring or tracking website traffic on analysis or on reporting check that out if you found this video helpful please like subscribe comment share the video and we'll see you in the next episode